<coughs> this is a poem that treats burgers, or as I like to call them, awful, awful falafels. <coughs> fries, or as I like to call them, kartoffel waffles. Kartoffel being the German for potato. As a sort of generic allegorical product. Because that's another thing I hate about, about adverts. They're always telling you how brilliant you are. They're always telling you that you're brilliant. And, and, and I'm not. I'm a shit puncher and I know it. And, and even if I was brilliant, I know that they're not being sincere because they don't know me. So every time I hear that, the voice of advertising, I always hear it as being slightly sarcastic. Like, you know, like L'Oreal. Because you're worth it. <laughs> and uh, and that's, that's what this poem's about. It's about the, the voice behind the advert. The arsehole within the arsehole, if you appreciate a rectal metaphor, which I'm sure you do. <clears throat> this is called Hold the Pickle, and it goes very much like this. Awful, awful falafels and cartoffel what? Have it your way. <laughs> Awful, awful falafels and cartoffel waffles. Your own exceptional way. Ooh, you pounding Jehovah of independence. Ooh, you sentient snowflake. Ooh, you sexy clump of self. Your bottom is not fat, it is prosperous. <laughs> like a happy moon. Awful, awful flats and cuts off waffles. Let it love you, let it love you with its special sauce. Special, like a My Little Pony. With type 2 diabetes! <laughs> let it love you until you are no more than a fleshy, festooned egg in a ludicrous, wobbling cage. Uh, uh, I mean, your way, you flaming whopper. You don't want to pick. You don't get pickled. Ooh, hold the pickle. He's the one who's pickle. He's the one who's free pickle. The fragile aberration stood there, a cognizant sausage, self-conscious of his conscious self, awkwardly rebelling like a goth <laughs> in flip-flops. <laughs> Cheers.